Well, rallying the troops at any office can be a challenge. So sometimes all you need is the right level of motivation. Here's what we mean. My vision for this company is big. I ask you, how big is your vision? Triple it. You folks make so many sales a year, like X sales. Well, imagine three X sales. There's nothing we can't do. We work hard. We work harder till we are as hard as a rock. All right, so that is a scene from the hilarious upcoming movie Out of Office. And the two guys we're about to hang with know a few things about workplace shenanigans. We're talking about the ever so brilliant Oscar Nunez and actor, writer, director, and executive producer Paul Liebesine in the house. <laughs> okay, so for, just so you know, we already met like briefly. Uh, my contract says I'm not allowed to sing, but reunited and it feels so good. Okay, I'm going to stop. Of sorts. Oh, before, before I get in trouble. But this is major because I'm not just talking about a blast from the office past. We have a Seinfeld blast from the past. We have S SNL blast from the past. This is just incredible. And I saw it last night, laughing out loud li like a madwoman that I am. It's hilarious, out of control, but it's uh, also dang. super relatable. You're welcome. I'm here for you. I would never not watch. But but we're still <laughs> we're still living that Zoom life. That's why I said super relatable. So we're going to start with you, Paul, because you had it. 82 jobs on this movie. You only have time for 10. So list them and then break down the inspiration for this situation that we're going to enjoy on Monday. Uh, well, this was uh, this really came from, you know, I, after The Office, I thought, OK, you know, that was good. I'm never going to do workplace again because I don't think I can, you know, I got nothing else to say. Uh, and then, you know, this this pandemic thing happened and we all switched to Zoom and it, it just it started, you know, I was taking meetings in people's bedrooms <laughs> because of Zoom and everything changed i meet everybody's kids and and it's just i just realized the workplace just like got into everybody's homes and the home life you know it just became one so uh um you decided uh, to take on 82 roles. ideas kind of presented themselves so you had 82 82 titles on this role you what did you do write produce direct i write it yeah so I directed it and well, no, just maybe two. <laughs> two? Oh, I can't count. I have six fingers on my right hand, but I can't count. So, Mr. <laughs> Nunez, let's talk about your character, because we saw in that clip, he likes to give a good speech. Like a, a, like a lively speech. So what else do we need to know about this guy? Well, first of all, Paul is very humble. He catered. He makes a mean omelet. He <laughs> wrote, directed. He catered. He did my hair. I knew it. Uh, he, so your what was the... My hair, yeah, I know. My hair is always. So, what was the question? What does talk what to us about the, your character, the boss man that we get to see there? <laughs> yes, I come in. I think I've acquired the company. My father acquired the company, so I come in and I uh, I give a speech to rally the troops. They don't need rallying. Yeah. I don't need to be there, <laughs> you know. And and it's one of these uh, guys who. Uh, who is very uh, lucky in life that he doesn't have to do much except go around and hear his own voice. So I came and gave them a speech, and, and I, you know, they can take what they need and leave the rest. That's what I say. And you can see how enthused they are that you are there. Like, you're, like, jumping up and down. They're like, hmm. All right. But, you know, but, it's sinking in osmosis. They're right? getting it. They're right? getting it. I know. I know. I got it, too. I was psyched. But, but um, not that I want to be a consultant on this movie, because it's already done. It's coming out, Comedy Central, on Monday. You know how some movies have based on a true story caption before it begins? This should probably have it, then, maybe based on certain true stories, because during the pandemic, we got to see crazy situations happening when people were working from home. What I liked the most was the fact that I didn't have to drive anywhere. And so I'm wondering, what did you like the most? Because you're still in that situation now. Because here you yeah. are. You're not coming well, into the studio. Yeah. Well, we're in it right now, yes, you, you and I. So, and do, so you like the fact that you're not driving? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I don't ever want to leave the house again. Or riding there, your there's bike. There's, <laughs> there's a bike behind you, driving or riding. Mr. Nunez, yeah. do you like the situation? Do you like taking Zoom meetings? Or do you like going in and meeting people in person? Oh, at my age, I like to be in, look, I, I'm working right now. I'm, you can't see my hands. I'm, I'm a, um, crocheting a sweater <laughs> I <sit> here, <laughs> double duty. Um, I miss the meetings where you got rejected face to face mm -hmm. in an office old primary <laughs> style, but it's, you know, it's what it is. I, it's this, you know, 
Uh, Paul writes really funny scripts. Uh, as, as I mean, I don't have to uh, tell you guys that, but this this script was so funny, and uh, I was just glad to uh, have a little part in it. And it's nice seeing the faces there because I just went in for a day or two, I think, maybe yeah. a day ball. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, the cast is great. Yeah, for sure. The for sure. movie is ridiculous and funny, yep. and do enjoy it, everyone. And only I said to myself, what madman thinks of this? And by, by madman, I say it in the, in the most, like, complimentary way, Mr. Lieberstein. And by the way, it w I told you how I told you guys earlier when we were bonding before the break, during the break, how people were, like, didn't, that didn't speak to me before were speaking to me today because Toby and Oscar are here from the office. Like, they, they would roll their eyes when I walked by. And that's the, that speaks to the power of the office, which I'm sure you get to experience every now and then. So which has been, like, some of the most memorable, or, like, encounters that, that stand out the most to you? Because after all this while, both you have new fans, you have the older fans, it's not dying down anytime soon or ever no it's crazy and i could see pictures of paul and i here as teenagers uh and on the office <laughs> um paul it's crazy isn't it? the cast members i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> Well, I love I love a reunion. You two, like you, you know, they say you attract uh, what you are and who you are. You two are truly talented, truly funny, truly brilliant. And I, I know. Speaking, I know you right. You know. <laughs> and and we also love the reunion. Your Sandra Bullock reunion in Lost City. I, I was like so ecstatic when I saw that. So you're all about reunions. So we're gonna do this reunion again when things get back to normal and Mr. Lieberstein writes another movie and then you guys can come back. We'll call it in the yeah. office. Back in the yeah. office. Yeah. But for now, back in the office. Back in the, the office. office All right. So for now, yeah. we're gonna check right. check out their new movie, <laughs> Out of Office. It premieres this Monday night, Labor Day, on Comedy Central. You will laugh out loud. I promise you. I was laughing out loud, and I loved it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure. Thank you. See you soon. Hey.